Welcome back to Mega Man 11 speedrun tutorial. Next in line we'll tackle on Tundra Man. Now this stage works as a perfect tutorial how to use and utilize the pile driver weapon. Though for the sake of being clear, we're simply going to call the weapon impact instead of pile driver. Before we start the actual stage, let's talk about drops first and how you'll use them throughout the run. There are three different kind of refill drops we're trying to get after killing enemies. There's the small refill, which will give us two energy bars, the big refill with 10 energy bars, and finally the roulette, which has a chance of dropping either of the previous ones. Now you would think after killing an enemy, they would simply explode and drop down the potential refill just like that. Wrong! The drops actually bounces up first before falling down to the ground. Keep this in mind especially when you're nearby an enemy. You might actually slide underneath the drops without even realizing. If you're using Tundra Man's weapons though, the drops will automatically fall down without doing the little bounce animation. Always aim to destroy the enemies from the center instead of aiming for their legs. That way the possible drop gets collected instantly instead of allowing it to bounce up and away from you. Of course there are different enemy types, sizes and shapes, but the main idea here is to destroy them from the middle. One more important thing before we start the stage. Sliding and holding a charge can be a real problem in Tundra. See how Mega Man isn't releasing his charge despite not holding the charge button? This is because you're keeping Mega Man in a slight loop without allowing him to stand up for a single frame. Don't get me wrong though, this is exactly the method how you want to slide in order to go fast in the game. Though in some specific rooms you want to delay your next slide enough so Mega Man can release his charge buster. I think that's enough talk about drops and slides. It's time for the guy who knows how to freeze, Tundra Man. At the start of the stage, change to impact and slide twice, then jump onto these ice blocks. Do a long slide and jump from the very edge. Now, assuming your movement was great from the start, these snowflakes should be right here, floating past the lamppost. Use two normal impacts to destroy all three snowflakes. Usually you'll end up getting at least one small drop, but it's not exactly uncommon to get all your impact energy back from these guys either. Change back to Buster by either summoning Coil or pressing your right analog stick. Number 5 if you're using the keyboard. Start charging. Aim to land onto the highest ice block where you will continue with another slide. Fall down, do a little mini slide and jump over these spikes. It's almost better to do a full jump and completely avoid the risk of dying, but if you want to save a little bit of time, then do a medium jump over the spikes and continue sliding forward three times until you're close to these steps. Jump over and slide to the next screen. Though make sure to release your charge during the screen transition. Allow Mega Man to finish his slide and he should fire the buffered shot. Do not start your second slide too early, otherwise you will continue holding the charge like mentioned before. Slide twice right in front of the crunch dawn. Rapid fire to shoot four times. Change to impact and go right through to the next screen. Change to buster and start charging. Then slide once to fall down to this middle step and summon Rush. Now jump on coil and reach the top platform. Try not to bunk your head against it though. You could slide under the ladder, but walking works too since you would have to wait Rush leaving the screen anyways. Once positioned, summon coil again and jump on him, allowing you to grab the ladder from a higher position in the next screen. Climb up and release your charge immediately once you reach the top giving your shot enough travel time to destroy this enemy instead of just staggering it. Change to impact and slide all the way. Fall down and once you touch the floor, impact left to kill both of these enemies. 
slide once and hold right so you won't accidentally slide over the little hole and kill yourself. Start charging and slide to the next room. Continue sliding until these small ladders. Jump up to grab them. Do this only to align yourself. Then quickly tap your jump button again to fall down until finally jumping up to reach the top. Do not move left or right while doing the jumps. Then slide once, do a mini hop under the first bunny and release your charge to hit the second. Once landing, rapid fire to kill it. Quickly change to impact in case it drops a refill. Slide and do a long jump to grab the ladder. Climb up and slide fast. Positioning yourself underneath the last ladder where you will jump up to grab it. Make sure to hold up while doing so. Summon coil and tap the jump button to release the ladder so you will fall down the coil and jump up to the next screen. Start your charge immediately and climb up. Then release your charge to kill the first snowflake. Slide and rapid fire to kill the next snowflake. Change to impact in case it drops something. Back to Buster and jump over the floor enemy. Kill this snowflake mid-air while jumping over the first pit. Aim to land at the edge so you can make the next jump. Keep destroying the snowflakes. You can pick up a refill from the top snowflake here, but you need to be really fast with your weapon swapping. Rapid fire again mid-air, though make sure you fire one shot at the very peak of your jump, destroying one of the top snowflakes. Once landing on this platform, Start charging and slide fast to catch up with that single shot you fired earlier. If done right, this snowflake gets destroyed and you can continue without worrying about getting hit by it. Jump up the steps and release the charge to destroy both of these snowflakes. Jump over the last pit and briefly change to impact in case the snowflake drops you something. Don't worry about the first enemy, you're too close to collect a drop from it. Start charging again while sliding all the way to enter the next screen. Make sure to hold left before the screen transition. Now if you get really lucky with impact drops in the previous screens and you're entering this first win screen with full impact, I recommend spending some of it. You would use two normal impacts, one here to reach the top platform and one right after to kill these two snowflakes. Time your second jump and impact so you'll get them both at the same time. Who knows, you might have full impact again leaving this screen. Continue holding charge and once landing, slide left, hold right and slide across the room to reach the next screen. You still remember how charge and sliding works, right? Here you want to slide until this edge. During that slide, you want to release your charge and jump. If done right, your shot should get released, destroying this enemy right here. Change to impact in case it drops a roulette. These flying robots can only drop bolts and roulettes. If you have lots of extra impact however, slide to the same spot and power impact to get across the gap and kill the enemy as well. Don't fall down here, not even a single pixel. Otherwise you'll use your impact against this wall here and most likely get hit by one of the flying robot shots. Nothing too special in this room. Simply summon Rush and jump on him to reach the ladder above. Change to impact and climb up. Continue climbing and turn on your power gear. Slide twice until you're right in front of the first bunny. Cancel your slide by pressing jump and rapid fire at the same time to kill the first two enemies. Change to buster and start charging. Slide until this platform and jump on it. Do a little slide on the platform and jump over the crunch dawn. Now cross the gap with a long jump and slide to the lower platform. Medium jump to the last small platform where you will release the charge shot. Then rapid fire mid-air while falling down to kill the last bunny. Briefly change to impact in case of a drop. Slide to the end of the room, flick on your power gear and start charging. Hug the left wall before entering the next screen. Slide twice and do another mini jump before the edge of this platform. Hug the right side wall and you should land on the right side of this step. Jump to reach the next platform. Slide and small jump to avoid touching the enemy above. Slide into the miniboss room. You should have the fully charged buster shot ready to go by now. 
so simply hold down your rapid fire to instantly release it. Use your big buster as a visual cue when you're able to move again. The moment it hits the boss, slide once and walk forward until you reach this spot. Start holding rapid fire and take a few steps forward. Let the slippery ice carry you right in front of the boss. Now keep your eyes on the boss's trunk during your rapid fire. The moment you see the mammoth pointing it up, change to impact and finish the fight. Now try to time your slide again when exiting the room. Start charging and slide until the steps. Long jump to reach the top. Slide once. Do another slide before the spike pit and jump over it, releasing your charge at the peak of your jump. This kills the bird and gives you a chance for a small refill. However, this bird will never give big refills. Only bolts and small refills. Change to impact. Slide on the frozen platforms until you meet the last bird. Now, if you have spent more than 50% of your impact reaching this point, I suggest using Buster to destroy the falling block of ice. If you have a comfortable amount of impact remaining, simply use it to destroy the ice block and reach the end of this screen. Slide once before the steps and jump over them, then slide until you're pressed against the small pillar here. Summon Coil and he should appear on top of it. Jump on him and change the impact before reaching the peak of your jump. Use two normal impacts to reach the first W tank. Collect the tank and slide to fall down. Jump and slide over these small enemies all the way to the end of the screen. Continue sliding fast, leaving the falling sniper Joe behind. This room can be really tricky and requires some practice. Now, if you're really lucky with drops, you might have a lot of extra impact left. Though usually you should have at least 5 bars of energy left, enough for 2 power impacts. Flick on your power gear and slide to this edge and do a full jump. When Mega Man is perfectly aligned with the background line here, use one power impact to reach the other side of the room. Alternatively, if you're looking for an extra drop, you can start charging your buster in the previous wind room, which you would release in the middle of the last slide before the spikes killing this enemy here, then flick on your power gear mid-air, change to impact and shoot once to cross the pit. There are four different methods to get through this room, depending how many impacts you have left to spare. If you don't have any impact at all, simply slide twice, jump and tap rapid fire to shoot three times. Quickly slide and jump again for the next three shots. Keep doing this until you're right in front of the crunch dawn. From there, you can start holding the rapid fire button instead of tapping it, quickly killing the enemy. Remember to change to impact in case it drops something. Slide to exit the room. Now, if you only have one impact remaining, slide twice and jump to shoot three times again, this time flicking on your power gear and adding an extra shot into the mix. Jump again to rapid fire shoot. Then change to impact and use one power impact to go through the crunch dawn. Slide to exit the room. With two power impacts, keep sliding until you hit this corner here. Summon Rush and jump on him. Then flick on your power gear mid-air, switch to impact and use two power impacts to fly across the room. With three power impacts, you can summon Rush right after entering the room, jump on him Click on your power gear and use three power impacts to skip everything in the room. Jump on these two platforms and before reaching the third, summon Coil and jump on him. Continue jumping until you reach the ladder. Change to impact. Climb up and collect the refill. Jump over the first enemy, slide, jump twice and impact through the second enemy. If you're lucky, you might get a big drop from it allowing you to use a couple of extra power impacts just before the Tundra boss fight. Slide to the next room. Jump to reach this platform and slide under the bunny. Then jump and normal impact to reach the first ice platform. Slide until Mega Man is at the very edge and do a full jump to reach the top where the bolt is. If you end up falling down to the lower platform, jump up and align yourself against this spot here. Turn around and impact. Assuming you reach the higher platform, 
slide and jump up to bonk your head against the ice. Then immediately use one normal impact to collect the big bolt. After collecting the bolt, the wind starts to push you forward. Do a small jump here to reach the next platform. Slide and jump again. Now aim to reach the top platforms instead of falling down to the lower ones. Reach the highest platform and ignore the E-tank. Then simply slide to reach the middle. Jump from there and you're at the boss gate. If you were lucky to get a drop from the floor enemy in the previous screen, use one power impact here to save some time. Slide to open the gate and use your last power impact. Or if you have enough energy, use one power impact and one normal impact. Change back to Buster. Extremely important you do so before entering the boss fight. Tundra Man is an easy fight compared to Impact. We will finish the fight with four Power Buster shots. Easy as that. Start by buffering your slide, power gear and charge. When the fight starts, Mega Man slides once and starts to charge his Power Buster. Release immediately once you see him flashing once. Flick off your power gear and turn it back on once you see the red shot hitting Tundra. Charge again. Walk left and jump over Tundra when he skates towards you. The moment you have the second shot ready to go, release. Point here is to miss the first blue shot while the red shot hits. Otherwise, Tundra will start his knockback animation and you would miss the quick kill. After landing the red shot, start walking right. When Tundra jumps over you, turn on your power gear and start charging for the third shot. Stop moving when Tundra touches the wall and release your shot. This time hitting with both blue and red shots. Flick off your power gear for a bit. Tundra will kneel down, giving you the visual cue when to flick on your power gear and start charging your final shot. Move right next to him and release the last shot right before he gets back up to his feet. Notice if you didn't kill him at this point, you most probably ended up hitting his iframes. Keep an eye on those sparks around him to see when it's okay to release your charge shots.
Sí, 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 sí,